Hundreds of homeowners are now having to figure out how to deal with all the flooding they've suffered, and that usually involves working with their insurance agencies, which is never easy. Local Tennis' Laren Livingston joins us live with what the next step is for these homeowners. The good news is, is that we've got blue sky and the rain, at least for the moment, has stopped. But time is ticking now for those homeowners to figure out how high the water got, how much damage that water did, and how much coverage they do or do not have or should. Rain, rain that at one point seemed to never go away. We've never seen anything quite like this in terms of a non named event. He says more than two feet of rain in a matter of days should be a wake up call for anyone, especially those who don't have flood insurance and should. It could flood anywhere at any time in Florida. And just because you don't live in a FEMA designated floodplain, it's not showing on the map, doesn't mean you can't have catastrophic flooding. People don't know what to do. They're frazzled. Attorney Brandon Arrow with the Professional Law Group says the next few days for property owners will be crucial. First, with filing claims, which he says he's already helping with. You want to get the, the estimate, you want to get the claim reported right away. You want to get the estimate and the proof of loss submitted to the insurance company. From the date of loss, you have 60 days to get your proof of loss submitted to the carrier. To the and insurance company. Correct. And as for reporting that damage, Arrow says document, document, document but be smart about it. Some people are going to be inclined to really want to clean up as quickly as they can. You don't want to wipe away any evidence. You don't want to make it harder for you and easier for the insurance company to come out and say, I'm not seeing anything or I'm not seeing the, the flood line. I'm not seeing the water didn't rise high enough for me to allow for that, you know, two inches, three inches, four inches of drywall replacement. <laughs> Because we want every bit of damage that has been done to be, of course, corrected and repaired. And those FEMA flood maps, those experts tell us, they say don't pay attention to those because in spite of and despite what we saw here recently, those maps won't be updated anytime soon. That could take years. All the more reason for you to make sure you have coverage if you don't. And for those who do not have flood insurance, those experts tell us that you can contact FEMA and hopefully they'll be able to provide some assistance for you. We're live here in Pembroke Park, Larry Livingston, Local 10 News.